Hey, so I just want to introduce a really neat way to potentially identify a particular specimen that's submitted to you. This is a program called Google Lens. It's only for mobile phones, uh, either Android or iPhone. Uh, you can install it, or uh, it's also built into Google Photos. If you have that on your phone, uh, you can also be able to access it, and I'll show you uh, how I'm going to do that. Google Photos is great. Um, I use it personally for storing all my photos. It's a great way to store photos on the cloud or be able to share uh, albums of photos with other people. But anyways, it uh, also has that built-in Google Lens feature that's very handy. And if you have a Google Pixel phone, I'll show you how it's built right into the camera app uh, as well. But I want to show you as an example, uh, periodically people will send me samples to identify uh, what uh, what insect kind of we're dealing with here. And I've put a little list of things here. Uh, so if you're using Google Photos, you'll see in the bottom right, there's that little symbol. If you tap that, uh, Google essentially searches items in the picture and finds things that it looks like a certain match. In this case, uh, Tawny Emperor, Hackberry Emperor. You can see it's basically nailed it down to one of two potential uh, species. And from there, you might have to go and look at the specific pattern on their wing and try and compare and find out what species you're actually dealing with. Uh, here's another, I mean, this one is a lot more specific. This is a, a caterpillar that was brought to me. And uh, again, we can hit that button and boom. I mean, look at how fast, I love how fast it is too. It almost feels like a bit of a cheat, right? Uh, this is a regal moth caterpillar. Again, excellent way to get an ID. This thing is not perfect, right? So obviously sometimes I'll show you where it doesn't work. Uh, here's a specimen that when I try it on there, it, it can't recognize it. So the image does need to be a decent image. We need to see the full specimen. It even works on things like dogs. <laughs> this is our dog on his first year birthday. Uh, and you can see our, our dog is actually a golden doodle. So that was the third guess it gave us. But uh, it's still pretty incredible that it knew that it's a dog, let alone uh, guessed what breed of dog it is. Uh, here, you know, so I've um, taken a close-up photo of some lace bugs. So again, I can look closer here, and you can see it's identified what the object is, and boom, again. So it knows the lace bug. I'm not certain about the particular species here, so you need to go through and verify, right? So you can't just rely on this on giving you the exact ID. I would then typically uh, then go into that particular species and learn more about it and make sure that it is something that would make sense to be on that particular plant, makes sense to be in Texas and uh, does actually look uh, similar to my specimen. And again, it does need to be a good photo. Uh, sometimes there are some species that are not common enough for this uh, particular Google Lens to be able to identify it. So in this case, you know, it thinks this is an aphid, a book lice, a bed bug, springtail. These are actually all incorrect. It's not any of the above. This is a type of a uh, leather bug, I believe is what it was. Um, so these are a lot less common. So they're hard to find. Uh, this thing can also be used for identifying, uh, here's another example. It's kind of a cool one, it's a pus moth caterpillar. Uh, and you can see it's only showing a certain part of it, but boom, here's some other parts. Also known as a flannel moth caterpillar. Um, it's also good for IDing plants, right? So, uh, you know, this is kind of an easy one, top-down shot. You wanna make sure you get some good photos of the leaves, some identifying features. Here it is, poinsettia. I guessed it, no problem. Uh, I do one here in the middle of the forest. Uh, and this one here, boom, guessed it right on as well. Oop, it is a, I believe it's a, here we go, yeah, tulip tree. So it works great uh, for photos you've already taken. You know, while I was in Guyana, there were a lot of plants that I was not immediately familiar with. So I'd take lots of pictures, and then I'd bring it back uh, to the hotel where I had Wi-Fi, and I'd verify what all the plant species were so I could learn them and also identify uh, what kinds of challenges they had on them. In this case, my photo is on the cloud, so you can see it's uh, trying to load up. It takes longer to load the photo into my phone because of our internet here than it does to actually identify what it is. So I haven't pushed the button yet because I actually have to wait for it to load up the image. There we go. Now I can hit that button. And this is cassava. 
Uh, this is a cassava plantation. You can see right there, cassava. So it works incredibly well. It also works well, so again, if you have a Pixel phone or if you load up the Google camera app on your phone, uh, it also has um, the Google Lens uh, built into it. In this case, sometimes I get emailed uh, photos and uh, I can actually just put my phone over the image of what was emailed to me. And here we go. So and this is a case where, again, this is a very rare species. It is a type of a sawfly, but um, this particular species is not very common, so won't know the specific species uh, of what it's dealing with. So again, uh, this is where you need to go through and, and kind of verify. This caterpillar has very distinct and strong pattern on it, and so it does a very good job, hieroglyphic moth, at knowing exactly uh, what you have there. And then sometimes you get a very blurry image, um, and you know it's not going to guess correctly what that is. It, is pretty incredible that it actually knows that it's an insect. It's just like a blurry, like emerald thing there on my screen, and it's guessing. And that's a six-spotted tiger beetle. I mean, that's possible. Um, but I really don't know what that is, uh, so I cannot verify for sure. But anyways, uh, that's just a quick little tutorial on uh, using Google Lens. Hopefully, it'll help you out. For again, I use it. If I, if I get a sample or a good picture of something and I don't know right off the top of my head what it might be, uh, I might try Google Lens and that might just point me at least in the right direction. Great resource. I highly recommend it.